then we're starting back over. So every time you skip, it's two. And then it'll eventually, the next time, it'll be two data by set. And then it'll be three data by set. Because I think. I thought somebody said I didn't have to go or something like that. Somebody said you didn't have to go to what? Detention. Who? Uh, D. D who? D's nuts. I might pull up black out top down count racks I bet she give me top now I bet she give me top now nigga I might pull up rap down straps out ready to check your temp by that clock talk I might be worth a quarter ticket in a minute call buddy up and shit get serious I might back in for that back end we just getting money way back then not to say I'm attractive wanna introduce some dirt back Alright, so I'm at the Oakland airport and I'm about to do some shit that I think I'm not allowed to do, but I'm about to try to do it. Just because that's what we do. <laughs> Look at this. It's beautiful out here. It's so beautiful. This shit's definitely coned off though, y'all. So hopefully I don't get in no trouble. I kinda wanna steal this forklift since I'm certified. <laughs> that's my sneaking face. Even if I do, I really I don't care for real. Wouldn't it wouldn't be like as fun if you don't almost get in trouble, right? It smell like fucking wet bird over here. Fucking filthy. Damn son. Sierra Nevada. Look at that shit. Look at that motherfucking shit. The best part about me is I know how to adapt to other situations, to any situation. I feel like I don't give a fit enough. Well, since I'm bored, I guess you got. I guess I'll let you guys in on a little bit about me. This will be thoughts from the bench with the young Moiker. I was the ex-class president of the class of 2011 of Kirkwood, three years. Thanks to one of my lovely friends, Robin Jordan, writing the best fucking presidential speech and handing it over to me to, to read. I still appreciate you to this day. To this day. I love travel, long walks on the beach. I'm a super simple, like, I'm the simplest, most, complex person you know probably if that makes sense I think I'm different but a lot of people think I'm weird I don't care it's me baby I just think I'm different you know people confuse me like I'm not saying that I'm not smart but people think that because I know a little bit about a lot of things that I'm just like this I just like know everything which is a blessing and a curse if you make like a good impression on me or like your energy is, is is pretty sick or I like your energy then like typically I like migrate towards you. I wanna be around them but just like everybody else I like to feel good, you know. I don't have kids fortunately, it's like it's a blessing and a curse. I might have kids one day but gotta live a little first. <laughs> You gotta learn some shit so you can teach your kids what not to do. And what to do. I'm hella like self-conscious about my lips, especially when they chapped. My teeth as well, cause they hella crooked. To me, at least. I think I got a nice smile, what y'all think? Yeah. Every morning I, eat, I drink a fruit smoothie for breakfast. I don't know, I'm pretty wild. I'm a wild card. I also think I'm a pretty fun person. I also feel as if I was raised well, so. Sometimes I get annoyed when, like, complimenting people, women specifically, and they always like, like, you be like, oh, I like your shirt, and they be like, oh. Like, you trying to hop down on them, like, maybe I was, but this time I wasn't, ha <laughs> ha. 
Or sometimes it's just like people, like beautiful people got terrible, shitty ass attitudes and stuff, you know? It like definitely hinders everything positive that anybody has seen or thought about you when you open your mouth every time. I also don't like, I don't plan very much. Like very few times that I plan, shit just don't happen as you plan it. So I don't be planning. However, I'm not opposed to it. It actually, planning is very, very crucial in life, I feel like, because you need it to move forward. Even though things might not go as planned, the structure is the part that I feel like catapults people forward. Because when you got structure, you have an idea of where you're going, what you're doing. When you don't, it's just complete chaos. I think that's like the biggest lesson of life I've learned. Because I've lived like, I've lived in controlled chaos pretty much all my life. But it's like you can't control everything. It's to the point where I don't even try to control shit. I just like <laughs> enjoy life. It's beautiful. I love it. Also, recently, oh my God, I got my fucking world rocked. Like, I'm not even gonna go into details about it, but I've had some really pleasant days this past few days <laughs> also you know this is a big thing I want to say it's not it's not weird to like, compliment people encourage people to make them feel good or even just simply acknowledging their strengths or just positive things they got going on like we have to learn to be better humans to each other seriously you never know what people are going through and I know that's like so cliche to say but I spent a lot of my life just like talking to random people and the biggest thing I've learned is most people just like they having a fucking bad day you know a lot of people suffer in silence again we're from the 90s <laughs> Which sounds weird to say, but a lot has happened since 1993 in my 28 years of life. Like, and the biggest thing is social media like ruined life for a lot of people. Comparison and trying to keep up, and then like feeling like you gotta post everything you do. Which like I used to do that shit all the time, and it was I wasn't doing it because. I wasn't doing it to like brag or show off. It was like my likability. Like I did it because people liked me and liked what I was posting. I don't really know why I stopped. I think it was more so because of like quarantine. I just kind of like fell off. I went into a little shell and I found more of myself. I don't think I've completely found myself, but I found more of who I am. Just being alone in quarantine, routine, schedule kind of dealing with the same people being around people that make you feel good and it's okay to be around people that make you feel bad as well because like you learn even more what you want and don't want also i want to give a huge shout out to my cousins stephanie and divana like they are truly the inspiration like they really keep me motivated every day to do what i do like They've come a long way. They keep me grounded and focused on, like when I'm falling off of my schedules and plans and they always wondering, like, what are you doing? What's going on? How, how, how can I help? Like, it's just amazing support that they have or, and positive re-encouragement that they give me. So I encourage you all. Um, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't have to be family. My family, we just got a real tight bind. We can fucking cuss each other out and argue today and tomorrow we're gonna be hugging and kumbaya and <laughs> probably later that evening to be honest but you know that's that's part of our growth with each other as well you know everybody doesn't work well together but it's good to know who you work well with you know my schedule has changed drastically which i'm not upset about but it has changed so but today will be a beautiful day regardless of if you want it to be or not. All you have to do is make it a beautiful day. 
no matter what happens any day your mind is over the matter of, of earth so always remember you attract what you think your thoughts become things don't be scared to try new things and step out of your comfort zone that's usually when you grow also i would love if you all commented on this video and tell me like any questions you have some things you like to see you know just surprise me why not surprise me another shout out to my cousin naya and the nice collection that's her boutique but naya is a huge inspiration to what i do as well i watch a lot of her youtube videos my younger cousin i also encourage you to surround yourself with people who encourage you to elevate and stay on track because it's not always easy to do, but when you got people that are always around you positively re-encouraging you, you typically tend to do the right things. And it's not always fun or easy, but it's, it's definitely worth it in the long run. I've come so far along just like being positively re-encouraged and support. I, I thank you all for watching today. Go Raiders, even though they're in Vegas now. All right. All right. Hey, you little fucker. You little big ear fucker. You ignore me, boy? Huh? They did it on the track, huh? boy. They telling me to slow down. Yeah.